Jr.'s fifth start in conference play for Cincinnati, a guy who played really well against UCF in late January. So when you go through a slide like they did, you got to get your best player, your leading scorer, in the starting lineup to try to get that scoring punch started a little earlier. Tremendous officiating crew, Rick Crawford, Chance Moore, Blake Harris. Let's go. UCF in the white, Cincinnati in the away black, and we're underway from Orlando. Day-Day Thomas handling to start here for the Bearcats. Absolutely. When this place gets going, the palm fronds come out. Starts rocking in here. Skilling kicks it out. Lukosius will drain his first three-pointer of the day. And one of the most versatile players for Seam is Seamus Lukosius for the Bearcats. A guy that not only shoots the three ball very well from the outside, but does a great job of setting up his teammates. 6-4 out of the gates here in Orlando. Lukosius, good look, and easy put down for Bendego. And that's some of the passing ability, the vision and awareness that Seamus Lukosius brings to the basketball court. There aren't a lot of fours, right, power forwards that are able to make a nice soft big-to-big -big pass like Lukosius did right there. When you think of really good point guards, it's not just their athleticism or their quickness. It's the ability to make good decisions. And that's a good decision right there from Lukosius. Not settling for the outside jump shot, getting downhill into the paint. Seamus Lukosius, the Lithuanian, scores again. Play really strong defensive teams. There are certain principles, certain things that they are able to implement that no matter how good your offense is, they can really make it difficult for you. So good offensive teams also sometimes have bad days. Defensive teams never do. And another outstanding pass from Seamus Lukosius. Goodness gracious, Drew. That was an impressive whip around there. Bandego was waiting for it. He fed the big band perfectly. And that's a 6 8 forward. You know, that's not a 6 2 guard. It's a guy at 6 8 at that size making that sort of play. Sellers on the miss. And now Day Day Thomas again. What He's a going. start yeah. for, for Cincinnati here in the second half. Yeah, and Lukosius is going. They got a match up with Darius Johnson on him right now. They got to take advantage of it. He does. Calling for it. They hit him, and he drilled it. You can see it coming from a mile away, Drew. People are loving it. And right here, Seamus Lukosius. Not looking like Seamus Lukosius. Looking like Magic Johnson with the whip around to the big fella underneath the rim for the easy finish. And then when you set up a teammate, it's only right that you get one for yourself. Cincinnati's rolling to start the second half. It's one and one on both sides. The foul on Sellers gives Lukosius a real opportunity to extend this lead. First for Seamus Lukosius goes down. So it quiets the crowd here temporarily. Big free throws from Seamus Lukosius. Keep an eye on shot clock and game clock. Right now a nine second differential between the two. Everybody is on their feet here at Edition Financial Arena. Quickly to Skillings. Tipped away to the hands of Lukosius. And the Lithuanian. Oh, great move. Tries to get underneath and he puts it in. Knights now are going to need a three. And the Bearcats has to keep UCF off the three-point line. The UCF. Darius Johnson trying to draw the foul. Doesn't get the call and can't believe it. And man, it looked like Aziz Bandego left his feet right there. And there was contact with Johnson. Typically, when that defensive player lose, leaves their feet, you usually get this whistle. See Bandego? That's a foul. That's a foul. That, that is a foul on Aziz Bandego. And Rick Crawford right there. Yeah. Standing next to him to make that call, you would think. It's going to be quick with two seconds, but it's got to be fast. Cincinnati has Bandego and Jamil Reynolds. Avery misses. The ball's loose on the floor. Trying to call a timeout, and they're not going to give it to him. <laughs> there were no timeouts remaining for UCF. So just like that, ball game. 76-74. The Bearcats escape Edition Financial Arena with the victory. Here's one more look at the final seconds. It was set up perfectly. <laughs> well, Marcellus Avery does what he needs to do 
But Dan Skilling's able to get in there and get a hand on it, and then a scrum like this. And you see the timeout call from Martellus Avery. The Knights don't have any timeouts. It does not matter. Take a deep breath. What an afternoon of basketball here in Orlando. 76-74, the final score. Cincinnati moves and improves.